the universe whispers. In the vast expanse of space amidst the cosmic silence there are secrets waiting to be heard. Do we have the ears to hear? Can our technology decipher these faint murmurs from the cosmos? For decades deep beneath the Franco-Swiss border a machine has listened. It has been our sentinel, our ear to the universe. A machine of unprecedented power, a marvel of human ingenuity and scientific prowess. A machine built to unlock the universe's deepest secrets. To peer into the very fabric of reality. This is CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. A beacon of scientific exploration and discovery. Home to the Large Hadron Collider, the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. A colossal ring where particles race at unimaginable speeds. A marvel of engineering, a testament to human curiosity. It stands as a symbol of our relentless pursuit of knowledge. Within this 27-kilometer ring, scientists smashed atoms, recreating the conditions of the Big Bang. They sought to understand the origins of our universe. They chased the unknown, seeking answers to questions that have haunted humanity since the dawn of time. Questions about existence, about the very nature of reality. But on a day that began like any other, the impossible happened. The unthinkable. CERN fell silent. The hum of the machine ceased. The LHC, the heart of this scientific mecca, stopped. The silence was deafening, a stark contrast to the usual buzz of activity. The world held its breath. What happened? Scientists and enthusiasts alike waited in anticipation, their minds racing with possibilities. The mystery deepened, and the silence grew louder. CERN isn't just a facility, it's a symbol. A beacon of human curiosity and ambition. A beacon of international collaboration, uniting minds from across the globe in the pursuit of knowledge. Scientists from over 100 countries come together, transcending borders and cultures, to work towards a common goal. Thousands of scientists, engineers, and technicians have dedicated their lives to this grand endeavor. Their combined expertise and relentless dedication have made CERN a powerhouse of scientific discovery. Their goal, to understand the fundamental building blocks of the universe. By studying particle collisions, they hope to unlock the secrets of matter and energy. To unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, they explore phenomena that have puzzled humanity for centuries. From the origins of the universe to the behavior of celestial bodies, their research spans the vast expanse of space and time. To peer into the very fabric of reality, they use cutting-edge technology to probe subatomic particles. These experiments aim to understand reality at a quantum level, revealing the hidden forces that govern our existence. Their work has already revolutionized our understanding of physics. Breakthroughs in particle physics have led to new theories and models that challenge our perception of the universe. The discovery of the Higgs boson, the so-called God particle, sent shockwaves through the scientific community. It confirmed the existence of the Higgs field, a fundamental component of the standard model of particle physics. It was a triumph of human ingenuity, a testament to the power of collaboration. This monumental achievement showcased what humanity can accomplish when we work together towards a common goal. But with great knowledge comes great responsibility. The ethical implications of their research are profound, raising questions about the potential consequences of their discoveries. And as CERN delved deeper into the unknown, a sense of unease began to grow. The more they uncovered, the more they realized how much they still didn't understand. Had we gone too far? The pursuit of knowledge is a noble endeavor, but it must be balanced with a sense of responsibility and caution. As we push the boundaries of what is known, we must also consider the impact of our discoveries on the world and future generations. To understand the gravity of CERN's silence, we must first understand its mission. CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, is home to the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider. Imagine a world without light, without matter, without even the very laws of physics. A void where the fundamental forces that govern our universe simply do not exist. That was our universe 13.8 billion years ago. A time before stars, planets and galaxies when the universe was a hot dense soup of particles. Then came the Big Bang. A colossal explosion that set the universe into motion. An explosion of unimaginable energy, creating everything we know and see. From the smallest atoms to the largest galaxies, all were born from this singular event. CERN's mission was to recreate those conditions to unlock the secrets of that primordial event. By understanding the Big Bang, we can understand the very fabric of our existence. By smashing protons together at nearly the speed of light, 
scientists could create fleeting microscopic black holes. These collisions mimic the conditions just moments after the Big Bang. These weren't the cosmic monsters that devour stars but tiny echoes of the universe's birth. They're incredibly small, lasting only fractions of a second. The hope was that these miniature black holes would evaporate almost instantly, releasing a burst of energy and exotic particles. This evaporation process, known as Hawking radiation, could provide insights into the fundamental laws of physics. Particles that could unlock new physics, new dimensions, new realities, these exotic particles might reveal hidden aspects of our universe such as extra dimensions or unknown forces, but some scientists feared the consequences. The creation of black holes, even microscopic ones, raised concerns about potential risks. What if these black holes didn't evaporate? What if they persisted, growing larger and more dangerous? What if they grew, consuming everything in their path? This scenario, though highly unlikely, sparked debates and fears about the safety of such experiments. The quest to unveil the secrets of the universe comes with its own set of challenges and risks, but the potential rewards are beyond imagination. June 23, 2024. The date will forever be etched in the annals of history. It was a day like any other, until it wasn't. At precisely 10.23 a.m. Central European time, the unthinkable happened. The Large Hadron Collider, the pride of CERN, went offline. The hum of its massive magnets, a sound that had become a constant for over a decade, ceased. Silence. CERN. Scientist. Panic spread through the facility like wildfire. Technicians scrambled, their faces etched with confusion and fear. What had gone wrong? No one knew. Not yet. Within minutes the world knew something was amiss. Social media erupted with speculation. News agencies went into overdrive. The world held its breath, united in uncertainty and dread. What had happened at CERN? In the hours and days that followed the shutdown, whispers began to surface. Strange occurrences, seemingly unconnected, yet all pointing to a single, terrifying possibility. People reported seeing flashes of light in the sky, unexplained power outages, and disruptions in communication networks. Then came the scientific reports, gravitational anomalies, fluctuations in the Earth's magnetic field, deviations in the rotation of the planet. The data was irrefutable, something was profoundly wrong. Narrator, animals behaved erratically, migratory patterns were disrupted, whales beached themselves, birds fell silent. The natural world seemed to be reacting to an unseen force. The world watched in horror as the evidence mounted, the whispers grew louder, the fear more palpable. What had CERN unleashed? Amidst the chaos and uncertainty, a glimmer of hope emerged. A small team of scientists, led by the brilliant but enigmatic Dr. Emily Carter, believed they had found a way to contain the crisis. Dr. Carter, a rising star in the field of theoretical physics, had long warned of the potential risks of CERN's experiments. Now, her worst fears seemed to be coming true, but she refused to give up. Working day and night fueled by coffee and adrenaline, Dr. Carter and her team developed a daring plan. A plan so audacious, so risky that it had only a slim chance of success, but it was their only hope. The fate of the world rested on their shoulders. Section 7. The Conspiracy Theories As the world grappled with the unknown, a breeding ground of fear and speculation emerged. Conspiracy theories ran rampant, fueled by the lack of information and the very real sense that something sinister was afoot. Some claimed CERN had opened a portal to another dimension, unleashing unimaginable horrors upon the world. Others believed the organization had accidentally created a black hole that would consume the Earth. Still others whispered of government cover-ups, secret societies, and ancient prophecies. The truth, they claimed, was being hidden from the public. While most of these theories were easily dismissed as the ramblings of fearmongers, some held a grain of truth. The line between science fiction and reality had become blurred. Section 8. A Race Against Time With each passing day the situation grew more dire, the strange occurrences intensified, the global panic escalated, the world was on the brink of collapse. Dr. Carter and her team worked tirelessly, racing against time to implement their plan. Their plan was audacious, bordering on the impossible. It involved manipulating the remaining energy within the LHC to create a reverse reaction, a countermeasure to whatever had been unleashed. The risks were immense. If they failed, they could potentially worsen the situation, perhaps even destroy the Earth. 
But they had no other choice. The fate of humanity rested on their shoulders. Section 9. The Uncertain Future The future remains uncertain. The crisis at CERN has exposed our vulnerability, our precarious place in the cosmos. We have peered into the abyss and the abyss has stared back. The world watches and waits, holding its breath. Will Dr. Carter and her team succeed in averting disaster, or will this be the end of humanity as we know it? Only time will tell. Section 10. Our Collective Responsibility The events at CERN serve as a stark reminder of our collective responsibility. We are all interconnected, our fates intertwined. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble endeavor but it must be tempered with caution and wisdom. We must learn from our mistakes, bridge the divides that separate us, and work together to create a better future for all. The future of humanity depends on it. What will our legacy be?